Hello, my name's Caroline Taylor and this year I decided to make my family garden a bit more like a forest garden. I already had some things in it that I considered would be useful, uh, like this medlar tree and behind there's a grapevine. And I bought some unusual things like this Echibia chocolate vine, uh, along with fruit bushes and some fruit trees. And I've tucked them in between my existing shrubs. Um, so having lived here for 28 years, I consider I've got a bit, bit of a 3D shape going on now with different stories uh, as I've read about in forest gardens. Uh, this was my son's Christmas tree one year, probably about 12 years ago. And I bought things like plum trees. Uh, this is a green gauge. Uh, things I had before like the Eliadnus are quite suited to a forest garden. Uh, there's a witch hazel at the back there. This is a crab apple. Uh, I bought things like this aronia which is similar to a hawthorn and I had ornamental quince here and on this side I bought a quince tree that just seems to have just set some fruit. Um, I've got things like cherries, at the backs are currant blueberries, uh, on the fence here is a blackberry Under there are raspberries and the honeyberry. Uh, this is sweet Sicily, which gives some interesting seeds with an aniseed taste. This is actually a tea bush that you make cups of tea from. Uh, but I haven't tried that yet. Altogether, I found that it's encouraged more wildlife. I have been fun watching the birds and small creatures come into the garden. And I've done no mow may, so I haven't got any precious wild flowers. I've still got some interesting grasses. Now, let's have a look here. There's, there's some herbs in here. There's fennel, lemon, verbena. Oh, there's a strawberry almost ready. Uh, more strawberries there for ground cover. Rhubarb at the back. This is another honeyberry, which is a bit like a sort of elongated root, uh, blueberry. Uh, we have black elder. At the back there's an apricot tree. Uh, basil on the table. I've grown things like cut and come again salads. Uh, this is this is a fig tree. There's three figs on it at the moment. Exciting. Uh, sadly, the apricot flowered early and the frost didn't help with that, so I won't be getting any apricots this year. Finding that. Uh, the flowering plants are bringing in lots of bees and look at this trachylosperm and sort of star jasmine. The scent from that is incredible. I've heard that every good forest garden needs a Szechuan pepper. So I bought this and it does have some precious thorns in it. But I'm looking forward to some crunchy pink peppercorn type berries in the autumn. Well that's a very quick whiz round of my forest garden on a housing estate, three miles from the city. Hope you've enjoyed it.